being your product of benchmark realty. And I'm here today to talk to you about vision. Why vision? Vision is so important, especially when you're house hunting. Now, sometimes if you're out there house hunting and you may have a certain budget that you have to stick to, and maybe all the houses that you see may not have everything you want within that price range. I know sometimes you walk in and it may not have an updated kitchen. The bathroom still may have tile from the 1950s and it can be very, very discouraging. In fact, a lot of houses you walk in, they may have this. Naughty pine. Ooh, that naughty pine. I tell you, this is what I'm this is what I got right now. So it's like I had to have a little bit of vision of what I wanted to do with my house, and I want to help you get a little vision too. Now, of course, one of the places that mean a lot to people are the kitchens. And if the kitchens aren't up to date, it can be a turnoff to you. Well, with me, I had to get a little bit of inspiration. And inspiration can come from anywhere, but it has to be with something that you like. Now, me, I'm whimsical. I like a lot of color. I can be a little bit goofy, but I don't care. And this is my inspiration. Can you see that? Yes, yes, it's Scooby-Doo. I'm serious. So I decided I was going to do my kitchen in Scooby-Doo. So without further ado, don't you say nothing. I don't want to hear it. Just follow me. So this is my kitchen. Now, I didn't really want to do the kitchen at the time I had to, but I had water damage on my floor and so I had to start from there. Now I ended up trying to figure out what floor am I going to do. Now since I already had tile before, I decided I would go with hardwood this time. And so I um, searched and searched for hardwood, but because this house was built in the 1960s, um, no it was the 60s, no I think it was actually 1956. They had very small planks, so they were only like one and a half inch planks, and so I could not find that anywhere. Ended up having to go online and special order it. And I think I only spent about $600 for that. So I had it installed, and um, they asked, did you want us to stain it? And that's gonna be an additional $700 if we stain and polyurethane it. So I was like, 700? No, I think I'll do that. I'll do that myself. So I went to Home Depot and ran the sander and came back and uh, started to uh, sand the floor. And it took me a minute to be able to stain the floor. So over the course of the week, the floor got a little dirty. So I got a mop and I can mop the floor. And then immediately afterwards, I started to stain it. And then that's why I noticed that I made a mistake because all the rest of the floors in the house were dry when I stained them. And so when I started to stain this floor, when it was wet, all the, the grains have just soaked up the stain and it made it really stand out. And it looks a little bit different from the rest of the house, but I just said, whatever, and went ahead with it anyway. If you pan down to the floor real quick. So if you would just like um, look at it, some of the grains is just a little bit darker, but I like the variation in the floor, but it's just a little bit different from the rest of the house. Okay, so when I got done with the floor, they asked, um, so what are you gonna do about cabinets? I'm like, what do you mean? I wanna put the cabinets I have back in there. I said, you're gonna use those cabinets? So I thought about it. Well, uh, maybe new cabinets, I guess I'll do that. So I started to go to Home Depot and Lowe's. I looked around, I kept seeing cabinets. How much is that? $10,000, $25,000? Oh, Jesus. I said, let me not do that. Let me go down to Habitat. Went down to the Habitat store. I saw some cabinets for like 3,500, 1,800. So I saw one cabinet I could get from there and that was this microwave cabinet. And it was like um, $33. So I bought this one cabinet. Then um, I ended up going to Craigslist and saw uh, this guy. So oh, we're doing a kitchen remodel. We're getting rid of all of our cabinets for $500. I'm like, no, that's my price, $500. So I called him and ended up getting six cabinets for $500. And then I still needed a couple of more cabinets, so I went down to the Madison uh, Madison Surplus. It's on one, one Mile Parkway. I got like a couple of more cabinets from there, and they were all different colors. So I went to um, Lowe's with my Scooby-Doo van, and I was like, okay, what colors could I get that would be close to this, but still you know, look nice in my kitchen? So I ended up picking out three colors in a semi-gloss. And I took the doors off, took the cabinets outside, and painted them. And so they asked, could they do that too? I was like, no, I'm going to do that myself. 
um, as far as my handles are concerned, I went to Home Depot and I think they were like, they're like $6, $6 a, um, a handle. And I went down to Madison Surplus, they were $4. So I got those there. And um, they was like, well, what are you gonna do about countertops? <sighs> How much is this countertop gonna cost me? How much is that? Cause all we know this guy, he do it for $1,500. Okay, 1500 and that's it. So I decided to go ahead and go with this black granite countertop. And so I think it it went well because of the little black wheels on the little, yeah, I know it's a bit redundant, but I love this, I love this stuff. Anyway, I went with the black countertop and um, I also had an extra cabinet left. And when I got, um, I ended up having to have a wall tore down here in the kitchen that had like a little counter on it. So I needed to have something that's where I can put my extra space. And so I decided, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing an island, but my kitchen is small and I didn't want it to permanently place it there. So I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I should get casters. And I did, I got some casters to put on it so I can make it movable. So I can move it around wherever I would need it. So if I need an extra space somewhere, I can just kind of move it around. And after they got that done, they asked me about backsplash. I'm like, oh, backsplash. How much are you gonna charge me to put this backsplash in? And they told me about three or $400. So I was like, okay, well, let me find some backsplash. So I went to a really cool place, you guys, Southeastern Salvage, it's on Eugenia Avenue in South Nashville. That place, you'll be in there for hours just looking around at all the cool stuff they have. They have great lighting. They have cabinets, they have flooring, they have all kinds of stuff. So I went out there and saw some backsplash. I ended up paying maybe $230 for it. And I just, I liked it, but it just didn't, it just didn't say, this is me. But I bought it anyway, brought it home. And then I happened to go out there a couple of days later and I saw this, I saw this stuff. And I was like, oh, look at that. It's got kind of like my colors in it. It's got a little orange in there. I love that stuff. And guess how much it was? 29 cents a square. So I ended up getting my entire backsplash for $22. So I took the other one back real quick and got that. <laughs> so as far as like, um, after they put my cabinet stuff and everything, I still had a little space between each cabinet. So from that point, I got this guy to come over. Can you make me some shelves so I can put my stuff on it? So right in between spaces where I didn't have cabinets, I just got him to put pieces of wood up and I painted those too. And I said I was gonna use that to house all my Scooby-Doo stuff. And you know, hey, I'm a grown up, but I like Scooby-Doo, I love that dog. Come around this way so I can show you my stuff. So it's like all this stuff I've been collecting over the years, just at different places. So some places I like to go to, again, is estatesales.net. And my favorite person is Miss Sheila. Her place is called Estate Sales by Sheila. So if you Google that and look her up, she's gonna have some really, really cool stuff that you can get. Some of my little like jugs and my milk glass pieces and my little um, mushroom things I got from the estatesales.net. Oh, and let me show you my little mushroom canisters. That came from like, I think it was like Sears in 1973 or four when that came out. So, of course you can't have a kitchen without having appliances. Now, as far as appliances are concerned, uh, I had one refrigerator that I really liked and it was big, but it just wasn't the right color. And something started going on with it. So I was like, you know what, let me look for a refrigerator. End up going back to Craigslist and end up finding my refrigerator for 400 bucks. Then I got my, um, microwave also from the pawn shop. Didn't spend that much for it either. You know, I got my Scooby-Doo people on my fridge too. Yeah, so what? I'm a big kid, I can't help it. But one of my big things, now I like to cook, I like to have my friends over. I wanted a big stove. I, I really wanted that stove that cost $10,000, that $10,817 stove, but I didn't have that $10,517. So I was like, I can't do that. So again, I went to my best place to go, estatesales.net, and saw this refrigerator. It has two ovens on it. And I love to um, 
I love to cook on this thing. It has like a little griddle thing on it that I use for my pancakes and stuff. And I only spent a hundred dollars for it. One hundred bucks. And so you cannot beat that. So I got, let's see, four, five, six, maybe like eight hundred dollars for all my appliances. Cause I had to get the dishwasher new from Lowe's. Um, my last ball, I had somebody, well, somebody gave this to me for Christmas. They had somebody to draw it for me for a Christmas gift. So I put it in a frame, got the frame from, um, uh, old time pottery and the rest of this stuff i just got from various places of course estate sales.net for this uh flea market sips and strokes and the rest of the stuff probably from miss sheila estate sales by sheila people that's the best thing going the best thing going but if you're lacking some vision and need a little bit of help i don't mind at all if you walk into a place and it looks like crap i can say you know what can't you see it don't you see these cabinets gray don't you see how you can put this like white granite on top of this and make it look like that? If you have a problem having vision, I don't. Call me. My name is Danielle Carter with Benchmark Realty. My number is 615-545-8284. I'm in the Nashville area, but I do all surrounding counties as well. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my kitchen. Let me get my, let me show y'all my cookie jar. Hold on. Let me get my cookie jar. This is my favorite. This is my favorite piece. I love that. There's no cookies in there though. I want some cookies right now, but I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Talk to you soon. Bye.